Hello ladies and welcome back to It's Time for Tea. My name is Princess Nay and this is my femininity journey that I decided to share with you. Before I get started, I would love to talk about my own brand called TheIndicoWoman.com where I've created a brand for feminine women who enjoy wearing feminine dresses and accessories. Okay ladies, so let's get started. So today I want to inform you ladies of the importance of being a feminine woman but looking good but on a budget. I know for me, I have always had the ability to be able to make an outfit look expensive on a budget without breaking the bank. I don't want anyone to feel you have to level up to a certain standard and do a level up journey just to wear certain things. Now, as a feminine woman, I think the best thing you can do is choose expensive looking materials. My favorite material is tweed. No matter if it's a jacket, skirt, dress, or whatever, it will always give me that upper class appearance. To me, it makes every woman look extremely polished and well put together. I also enjoy silk, lace, cashmere, knit, satin, linen, cotton, wool, etc. No matter what you wear, materials like that bring out the softness of your features as a woman. And trust me, others will notice. I would also suggest you take note of making sure before leaving your home your clothing is always ironed, pressed, steamed, or at least dry cleaned. That is very important as a lady to remain polished and well put together. However, I would also suggest wearing high quality stockings, fox fur, cap toe heels, high quality sweaters and heels, which all those things can be found at Primark, New York and Company, White House Black Market, or definitely Black-owned boutiques. I would always avoid buying anything that is too big for your body type or don't fit your body correctly. Ladies, please understand that there is nothing wrong for wanting to look, let alone appear expensive. This will prevent low-value people in general from approaching you about nonsense. Being well-dressed, polished, and well-put-together is one of my many traits of a feminine woman. I would also suggest be wearing hats and gloves that are seen as either girly or feminine versus hats that look outdated or very picky. I really enjoy wearing gloves because it prevents me as a woman from touching doors and car doors and rails and things such like that. Not being able to touch those type of things keep my hands away from germs or messing up my pretty manicure. But keep in mind, dressing in a classy way is not something you can just do overnight. It takes patience and time. You see, we'll have to work for you may not work for someone else. Your personality has to match the way you dress, so no one will misinterpret the way you dress as fake or phony. For example, you can't wear the latest designer bag, fur coat, stiletto heels, and hang out with your friends thinking it's okay to twerk at restaurants on their tables or their furniture. It's a bit of a contradiction and that you do not want as a feminine woman. I like a woman have class and not want to appear sweaty with their makeup or overall not looking well put together at all times. There is a time and place for everything, ladies. Now, another way to embrace your feminine style is to appear luxurious by investing in good jewelry. I buy jewelry everywhere. I love wearing earrings, um, brooches, bracelets, ankle bracelets, headbands, diamond hoops, or teardrop earrings for special occasions, feminine watches, overall feminine necklaces. Putting all those items together makes you appear soft and more ladylike. People also notice and treat you better in my personal opinion. When I was younger, I used to get or used to have a belly button piercing, and I'm so happy that I got rid of it. I've never really thought that it was very ladylike for women to wear lip or eyebrow piercings, but I am not judgmental, and as long as you appear classy to the best of your ability, it is perfectly fine. For those who are aware of my love for vintage, you'll see that women of those times did not have to do over the top with their looks to remain beautiful and look in high value. Women are God's greatest gift, and some things are just seen as unnecessary in my book. Another thing that can give you that luxurious appearance is winter coats. At the moment, my favorite coat to wear is my cape coat, but I also enjoy wearing fox fur, um, wrap belted coats. I find them both to be extremely stylish and feminine. I also suggest 
pea coats, trench coats, ponchos, leather jackets, chest filled coats, and minks. They all give you that extra boost to look and level up in society for those around you to see who you are and the kind of future you want for yourself. I also recommend wearing handbags that appear as good quality versus cheap and appears that it will fall apart quickly. And ladies, until you level up to afford the bag of your dreams, it is okay to wear dupe handbags. I see a lot of your favorite celebrities doing it all the time and nobody bats an eye. It's pretty pointless trying to keep up with the rich when they are when they once were broke as well. Now the coat colors I would suggest is beige, black, pink, white, or whatever color makes you feel more radiant. I feel the same way about handbags. I know a lot of feminine channels recommend that you stick to simple colors, but I just don't believe that, and I feel you can look just as good in any color. I would also invest in tops with lace, silk, satin, wrap shirts, or sweaters, or linen pants, riding boots, heels, of course, and high ankle boots, tweed sets, feminine lounge sets that consist of long silk robes and night dresses or cute two-piece outfits. A feminine woman never wants to answer the door or have company over and you look ran down with a t-shirt and a bonnet on. I know that is seen as a norm, but I just don't and never did think feminine women should look like that, mainly with guests coming over as well. Looking like luxury is a state of mind, ladies, and once you believe you deserve better, you will manifest better things and purchase better items that will draw your attention to feeling and looking luxurious. But that is all for today, ladies, and please don't forget to follow me at Call Me Princess Nay. Follow my feminine website um, on Instagram at The Goddess of Femininity. Be blessed, stay classy, and remain beautiful. Mm -hmm.